Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Ram Report with your free MLB baseball previews and predictions today for Tuesday, October 10th. Hope you have yourself a good start to your Ruby Tuesday. As always, don't forget, subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right-hand corner. All right, let's get to game number one of the... Uh, the third game of the series between the Minnesota Twins hosting the Houston Astros. The Astros are going to send Christian Javier to the hill against Sonny Gray. Now, Sonny Gray is a minus 135 favorite. Eight is the total. ATS forecast system play. Going to lean with the Twins in this one. 4.1 to 3.6. The over-under landing on 7.79. So we do have this game going under the total. Looking at Minnesota, last 10 games, 7-3 straight up. 6-4 when it comes to the over-under. And for the Astros, they are 6-4 straight up. Also 6-4 when it comes to the over-under. If you look at my value index, I did have the Minnesota Twins listed at minus 130. And uh, you can see you're getting a fair market value here from the bookmakers at minus 135. We're going to give the Twinkies a 58% chance of winning compared to 40.03 for the Astros. And if you follow the rain report, anytime you get a cow that is 40% or higher, you got to give it some, uh, some attention. And looking at some of the other stats on the parity value index, you can see that you got a beat bullish team against another beat bullish team. B teams in the rain report are teams with a 50 to 59.9 win percentage, and Houston is 20 and 11 on the road against B type teams, while Minnesota 18 and 11 against also B type teams at Target Field. Now looking at the home record for the Minnesota Twins, 49 and 34 on the year. 39, 39, and 5 when it comes to the over-under. And uh, look at the Houston Astros. They play better away from uh, Minute Maid Park than they do uh, anywhere else. In fact, they're 51 and 30 on the road this season. And if you scroll down in the rain report, check this stat out. Minnesota Twins, the last 60 days, the last two months, 16 and 5 on the road this year. Now, going into this game, analytics, as you guys know, I'm always about analytics. But when it comes for the regular season, but when it comes to the playoffs, you got to be able to um, handicap momentum and know when to uh, to get off the side and maybe look at the total. Like last night, a prime example uh, of going off the side and taking the total. In fact, we had the over in the Atlanta uh, the, the Atlanta game against Philadelphia. I didn't like any of the uh, of the sides yesterday, and that's the momentum handicapping of sports, right? And today, as much as I would, I, I do like Minnesota to win this game. I'm going to take Houston on the run line. I think getting Houston at plus one and a half is a great value here today. So give me Houston plus one and a half. And let's get to that other game between Baltimore and Texas. And uh, man, the Texas Rangers looking really strong right now. And uh, they are going to send Nathan Avaldi to the hill against Dean Kramer of the Baltimore Orioles. Now Kramer on the year. 13 and 5 with a 4.12 ERA. That kind of scares me. And Nivaldi 12 and 5, a 3.63 ERA. So teams, uh, two pitchers with an identical record almost. And uh, we'll see what happens here in uh, Arlington. Now, Nivaldi, a 135 favorite as well. Nine is the total in this one. And we're going to lean with Texas. 4.48, 4.28 deal render at 8.76. So we do like it going under the total of nine. Both these teams are 6-4 and four straight up in their last 10 games. The only difference is Baltimore 9-1 and one to the under in their last 10. So uh, pitching has been very good for Baltimore. And when you look at their uh, last uh, 7 games, 6-1, and one, only giving up 1.43 runs per game. And if you look at uh, the Texas Rangers last, uh, actually that's uh, Kramer's start. And if you look at here, yeah, sorry. So th this was Kramer's uh, last uh, 7 starts. He's only getting 1.4 uh, runs against, 4.29. But if you look at here on the road, as a road underdog, they are 31 and 22 on the year, averaging 5.09, but giving up 4.42. And for home favorite for the Texas Rangers, look at the run support they get. 6.09, but still giving up 4.71 as a home favorite. As much as I would love to take Baltimore or the total, I'm gonna I'm gonna lean here with the Texas Rangers. This is just too much power. The Rangers, a lot of you know, you got a lot of experienced players. Like you look at the lineup, you got Seager, Simeon. Man, I really like this Texas lineup right here. And Nathan Navaldi, former Boston Red Sox pitcher, uh, they're coming in on a four-game winning streak. I'm gonna go Texas minus 135 on this one, and uh, that's uh, the way I'm gonna roll here today for uh, Tuesday, Ruby Tuesday, October 10th. Also, don't forget, you can get my uh, premium picks each and every day at uh, ATSStats.com. I'm on a pretty good uh, baseball run. In fact, I'm 7-1 in Major League Baseball playoffs this year. And if you want to check out the NHL uh, picks for today and NFL for week number six and college football, you can do that by visiting our website, ATSStats.com. Enjoy baseball games today, and we'll see you back here on a Wacky Wednesday. Cheers.